How you doing, YouTube? And welcome back to another review here at Thomas Opened, where it's time for one of my English reviews for the very simple reason. This beer was given to me by my buddy Saverio from Italia, and he sent me over some Italian craft beer a couple of months ago, and I've been steadily trying to work my way through them, uh, which always takes a little bit of time, so sorry that it took a little bit longer for the third beer to pop up, Saverio, but uh, there you go. And it's another one of the beers by uh, Bira Alta Quota. It is their Omid, and um, it's labeled on um, uh, untapped as a specialty grain. Now it is, I can already tell, a darker beer. Um, it's brewed with spelt, uh, or faro, I believe you would say in Italian. I believe this is something towards like, you think of like, like sort of like a winter warmer, I believe the idea was. Um, yeah, I'm very curious. I'm very curious. What I had so far from Bira, uh, from uh, uh, at the quota, really, I liked it. It says Malto di frumento, Malta do orzo, Malto di frumento, and faro. So maybe in the description box below, uh, I should have Googled this, but I'm an idiot. I can actually Google that. I can Google that. I can Google that right now because I have a second phone here. Um, this is the phone that I, uh, it's an old phone, but it's still a good phone. And I use it as the camera for when I do the live streams and stuff like that. Let's Google Malto, oh, Malto, Malto di Fru, Mento, translation, translation. It means wheat. So this has uh, barley malt, wheat malt, and spelt, I believe. So that's nice. I like that. Very curious what this is going to be. Like I said, from what I gathered, it's going to be a darker beer. This is an interesting bottle opener. It's the only one that I have close by. I, it's a fun little thing. So let's see how this pours. This is going to pour like really black. So it pours a bit like, think like a bock. Think like a bock. It pours a little bit like a bock. I'll leave that in there for now. It pours like a bock. It has the color of the bock. It has like a transparency, transparency like a bock. So a uh, very dark brown. Maybe you guys see it as black, but it's definitely very dark brown. Uh, under here, I can see uh, definitely some light going through. So it, it really has the appearance of a bock beer. Uh, maybe like a double bock. The ABV on this is 7.2%. So that's, you know, it's in the range of a double bock. So uh, if it looks like a double bock, if it has the ABV of a double bock, it doesn't necessarily need to be a double bock. <laughs> it actually also has a bit of a very old school porter vibe to it, like an extra porter, uh, a heavy porter, like a stout porter. So it really does look like something a little bit more uh, ancient, a little bit more old school. Alta Bira, uh, uh, Alta Cota uh, does focus a lot more on uh, the classical styles from what I gathered with specialty grains like farro, so, um, or spelt as we call it. Let's go and see what this does on the nose, shall we? Mm. Yeah, that's definitely very Bach-ish, like a, a, a Beitzen Bach almost because of that wheat that they used. It has that same level of uh, roast, uh, sweet roast. Uh, it's not like, like with coffee, uh, but a little bit more sweeter coffee. It's not like the intense uh, espresso roast. It's more like a moderate roast. Uh, nothing too dark. It gives a little bit more of a sweetness to it. It definitely has that sort of chocolatey vibe to it. It definitely has a big, like, red fruit component on the nose. You get that sort of softness, smoothness from uh, what wheat uh, does. Oh, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. I really love this on the nose. This is very classic, very old school. It's very malty, very grainy. You definitely get the idea that a lot of beers these days, modern beers, you, you, they, they, I love them. They're jam-packed with flavor and the adjuncts and everything. I, I adore them. I love them. But you sometimes sit there and think like, am I drinking flavors or, or am I drinking an actual product made of grain? And sometimes that's lacking a little bit. I'm very happy that because I'm just getting pamphlets delivered to my door and uh, there's nobody looking inside going, well, what the fuck is this dude doing? Then again, it's 2023. A lot of people have YouTube stuff and social media stuff. So for all they know, they just think like whatever, you know, anyway, back to the beer. 
Yeah, I love the smell of this. The more that I smell it, the more that I get that big roast component from the, the darker malts, that um, uh, sort of very dark brown bread thing, you know what I mean? Like roast, toasted, uh, toasted bread. It smells delightful. It's very fruity, actually. It doesn't smell too, too uh, intense. It smells still light and approachable for its higher ABV and the fact that it's a darker beer. I love this. I love this. I'm going to have to go dive in and see what this does in terms of palate Saverio. Thank you very much, brother. And cheers. Yeah. 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 Oh. So that's interesting. loving the grain component here it's very fruity it's very for, uh, like forest fruits like dark forest fruits think like berries uh think like cherry it really has it's not like actual cherry but it has that deep fruity component to it and there's a lot of like medium bitter chocolate not like your very extreme 70 percent cacao pure chocolate but like that intermediate 50 percent thing very nice. There's this hint of coffee going through it. It has a little bit of like molasses, sh uh, uh, dark sugar vibe going on in the sweetness. Definitely a subtle bitterness. Not too heavy. A, a roasty bitterness and like that, again, that sweet coffee bitterness. What I find very interesting is that there is the faintest hint of a small smoky component which is actually like smoke or rauchbier, but rauch, 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 rauchbier. Uh, but think like like when the when when you're roasting meat and the bark on it, you know the, the that thing gets like that that near burned uh, thing going on, where it starts to get a smoky component, and it's not burned, it's not bitter, but that it it. it I wouldn't be surprised if there's a small amount of the malts used that have a very deep roast in it. A very deep, near charred, like near black and near acrid roast to it. Very deep. And you only use probably a small amount of it, but that's where that small thing of little acrid smokiness, subtle in the background comes from, which I find quite delightful and quite delicious, actually. This entire beer is exactly what I like. Mm. This is very old school, um, old school stuff, very classic beer, very much stuff that I feel people are forgetting about. Uh, this is, um, there's a, there's a line in, uh, the Dark Tower series by Stephen King, where the gunslinger, Roland of Gilead will say something along the lines, you have forgotten the face of your father. That is what this reminds me of. When I drink a beer like this and I look at many of its modern uh, brothers and sisters, so to say, which I find delightful and lovely and delicious. And I love those, those beers. I really do. I buy them regularly. I drink them regularly. I enjoy them regularly but they have forgotten the face of their fathers. This is the father. This is what classic dark beers should be. This reminds me, for example, of when I thought that a double, a Belgian double, not the modern things that are being brewed in Belgium, because let's face it, Belgian classics are nothing anymore compared to what they used to be 20, 30, 40 years ago. This, it reminds me of when a double really still impressed me. This is what reminds me of the classic German Weizenbox, double box, that kind of thing. This is classic stuff. This is really, really, really good. This is really phenomenal, in my humble opinion. This is beer. I love it. Thank you very much, Severio, for sending me this. I think I'm going to leave the review with that and just enjoy the rest of this. Uh, thank again, thank you so much, Severio. This is great stuff. Uh, if the people at Alta, at Alta Quota see this, be it Alta Quota, if you see this review, 
this is, you guys are doing great stuff. You guys are doing absolutely phenomenal stuff. And I know the modern beer drinking world will probably not get or appreciate this, but the old school drinkers like me do. This is, this is nice. Really, really nice. And that's it for this review. If you liked it, click that like, hit that like button. If you really liked it, please hit that subscribe button. In the description box below, you'll find links to all of my social media. You'll find a link to the Dutch Beer Collective. You'll find a link to mysterybeer.nl. Please go check out the reviews of all my friends in the Dutch Beer Collective, uh, Gerben, Douglas, and Remy. And I will see all of you guys in another review soon. Cheers.